Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartucci. And I'm in the back working with the guys trying to get these orders out because we had some that placed orders and decided to increase their orders. Yeah. Gotta buy, gotta buy. Yeah. Yeah. I think I gotta buy. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. What I also wanted to do is just show at normal speed how quickly this can be done, you know, with uh, some, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Speed and intensity or, you know, uh, work with a sense of urgency. And uh, this is some of the things that I'm showing the new guys that I'm hiring, you know, when working with us or starting to work with us, you know, about getting the job done and doing stuff like that you know enables us to produce more product per hour you know which keeps our prices down and you know allows us to keep growing so you know this is kind of a tutorial video but at the same time it's going to be something that i wanted y'all to see you know what we go through over here in developing the, the tackle and what it starts with and what it looks like when it gets to the end All right, guys, so I've broken apart the three trays of 12 ounce banks. Now I've got to sort my area out so I can go ahead and start cleaning them up because there's a lot of rough edges on them from being caught in between the molds. So now I've got to take a blade to them and get them cleaned up.
One of the main things I'm doing is trimming the top end of the bank weight and that's where the two molds come together. And what I'm doing is it's a stage by stage thing. First I break the main slag off which is the pouring point and which you saw me do already. Now I'm doing the top end of the weight and the bottom end of the sides. Those are probably the easiest parts of doing what we do here. The next stage will be cleaning the eyelid on top of it on the outside and on the inside. But by doing it stage by stage, back and forth like this, it allows me to work actually faster than it would be to be switching tools out between, you know, cleaning the inside eyelid, the top end, and everything else that we do. So, yeah, it, it looks like it's slower, but it actually is faster for us. So I've tried it in both ways to be switching tools between in and out and stuff like that. The only time we ever do that, well, actually, I ain't done that in forever. So... I just wanted to give y'all an idea, and yes, this is re this was real time on May 21st, at 7 p.m., you know, where I started and where I'm going with it. I had to stay behind to help the guys make sure this was on a Thursday, so that way we can get this order out on Friday, which was 300 pounds of 12-ounce banks, 300 pounds of 8-ounce eggs, and then a whole bunch of other assorted sizes where they wanted 5 and 10 pounds. So, yes, sir. We're staying busy, but <clears throat> getting down and dirty is something that I don't mind doing, you know, as you can tell. So this is going to be a great asset to be able to show my guys a, a good pace in which to work at where it's safe. You know, that they're not cutting themselves up or anything like that. And also, too, where we can keep our mess at a minimum. Because right here, you see where I have my tray underneath me, where I'm catching all of it right there. And what ends up happening with all that is it gets remelted down. You know, we try not to lose as much lead as possible. Obviously, we don't want to be dirty in the environment more than, than, than we have to, which we're luckily, we're in a uh, industrial area, but still at the same time, you know, I, I like to keep my area clean, recycle everything that we can properly, and go from there. So let's check this out as I keep rocking through these 12 ounce banks. See how it looks once I'm all done.
in between, you know, working the weights, I still had to work the front. So I was up front working the register and getting orders and stuff like that and trying to take care of the weight melting side of the house too. So, yes sir, not easy. <laughs>